Hey everyone, so this is part, uh, this is the second part of part one of Spaceship of Kamet. So we just declared our spaceship. We called it, I called mine Blickship. Um, I want to point out that I did a couple of things um, between these two steps that I think you can do on your own. Uh, notably, I um, have created the spaceship here in the main, um, and I have filled in um, our action performed method with the same things that we did for many balls. I tell my spaceship for every action performed, so every time the timer ticks, I tell the spaceship to move, and then I call the bounce method on it. Now this is the method we use to figure out if it should, should bounce off of the walls. So again, I'm just doing the same thing as the ball, um, as many balls with timer. I call repaint, and then in addition to that, in my paint, which is called in our buffer strategy, I created a method to clear the screen, which was just coloring in a white rectangle background, and then I told the ship to draw itself on top of the new screen. So I said blickship.draw. This is using all of the old ball class methods, because if you remember from the last video, spaceship is just the ball class. So when I run this right now, I have a green ball bouncing around on a white background. If you don't get this, pause the video and work with your code until you have something that looks like this. You know, for the sake of, for the sake of style, maybe we should say black. Yeah, now that it'll actually look like a spaceship in the vacuum of space. That's nicer, right? Awesome. All right, so my goal right now is to finish up step one, which is to make it such that the ball doesn't bounce off the windows, but wraps around instead. And we're gonna take care of that by editing this method bounce. Instead of bounce, I wanna call it wrap. So I'm gonna go into my spaceship class and I'm gonna find my bounce method. I'm gonna change this to wrap. Now previously, the way that this method worked was that it looked to the left and to the right, and if the x position was, um, looks like if it was lower than the leftmost side, or if it was greater than the rightmost side, then it would flip the um, velocity. It would change the velocity from going to the left to going to the right. Now, we don't want to change the velocity, but we do want to change the x and the y. So first, I want to um, I want to comment out all of this, because it might be helpful, who knows. And I'm going to write out my own pseudocode. So I guess the first thing I'll do will be to check to see if ball, I guess we should call it the ship, is all the way to the right. And if so, we'll move it to the left. And then we'll just kind of repeat that process. We'll do that if it's all the way to the left, then we'll want to move it to the right. And then again, if it's all the way to the top, we want to move it to the bottom. If it's all the way at the bottom, we want to move it to the top. So, how could I see if the ship is all the way on the right? So, this is the case in which, I guess I'm matching in my head, the ball is moving to the right, it's going to the right, it's going to the right, and then it reaches the right wall, and then it should reappear on the left side. So that tells me two things. First, I know the ball is moving to the right, which means that dx, which was our velocity, looks like lowercase, dx is positive, 
And also, I know the X position is close to the wall. So now I get this, I arrive at a question. And the question is, when do I want to take the ship and move it over from the right side to the left side? And I think I'm going to do that once half of the ship has disappeared off the screen. So specifically, I'm going to move it once the center X, X is right on the wall. So not only is it close to the wall, but what I want is for the X position to be beyond the rightmost edge of the window. So altogether, I can put these two into an if statement. If dx is greater than zero, and if x is greater than or equal to, and I guess that would be x high. So now, what I want to do is move the ship to the left. So I want to change x. x should be equal to something different now. It should be equal to x low. So I want to test this. I'm just going to see maybe uh, what I can do is make sure that my... I'll start this off with a positive dx. And I'll say dy is 0. So it's just moving to the right for now. And let's see what happens. All right, it's moving to the right. And if all went well, it should appear on the left. Ah, there we go. And it looked like it reappeared on the left once it got halfway across. Doesn't move, doesn't move, and then, whoop, reappears. So I feel pretty good about that. So to continue this process, all we'll have to do is repeat this method, or rather this if statement, for these other four cases. So let's do this one more time for this one if we're going all the way to the right. So in this case, I know this will be the case in which dx is less than zero, because that means that it'll be petting to the left. And here, instead, I want to see if x has moved to the left of the um, leftmost edge, which means that x is less than or equal to x low. And here again, I want to reset x to be x high. So now let's change this again. I'm going to start my dx out at ne as a negative number. Let's make it move a little faster this time. And let's see what happens. There we go. Feel pretty good about that. All right. So now we just have two more cases. We have this case of seeing if the ship is all the way to the top. So this is slightly more difficult because this um, because what we're passing in just to check when we call this when we're calling wrap where is wrap we're passing in um, top of window which you can think of as tidal bar height top of window that is. Our, um, that is the edge of the tidal bar, whereas max height is the, um, is the entire height of the window. So we just have to make sure we're taking that into account. So what we want here in this part is to see if the ship is all the way to the top. So that means we're moving up. So we want dy is going to be less than zero. We've got to make sure that we're moving up. Also, that y is less than or equal to y 
low, which is our title bar height. And if that's the case, if it's moved above the title bar, then we want it to be all the way at the bottom. Y is going to be equal to Y high. And finally, same idea here. If dy is greater than 0, it's moving down, and y has gone past the edge, and we want to move it back to the bottom. OK, I'm going to test this out. I'm feeling fairly confident. I, I think that I did it right, because I tested the other ones. So now I'm going to give it some x and y velocity and see if it's wrapping the right way. All right. That looks pretty good to me. I'm fairly pleased with this. Just to test it one more time, I want to make sure that it works if it's going up. So I'm going to change dy to be negative. Right, I feel good about that. Make sure you get yourself to the point where your ball is wrapping, it looks like this, before you move on to the next step.